Hey, what's up YouTube? It's me again, Matt, or TechOnSite of TheBeatPC.com. I'll show you a quick video on how to set up the XBMC Android Application Remote Control. Now first, um, XBMC is one of the best uh, media player nowadays. Um, this is um, a great alternative for the usual Windows um, media player. Uh, this application is very uh, good uh, because it's very highly customizable and it can play most of the digital files that we have nowadays. Um, most of the music files, video, and you can put a lot of add-ons for, let's say, viewing uh, TechCrunch or Cena TV or even YouTube and a lot more. And you can highly customize its appearance. Um, if you go to System here and on Appearance, there are a lot of skins that you can download over the internet. I'm using the Confluence um, skin, but um, you can you can configure it to other skins based on your preference. And you can even get more or download more skins in the internet, so you can you can make the uh, appearance more cool. Okay, let's skip let's skip this one. Now, aside from being uh, highly customizable and you can uh, play most of the digital files, one of the great features of XBMC is you can remotely control XBMC application using your smartphone. So there's a downloadable official XBMC remote control application from, from um, Google, uh, from Google Play Store. And if you're connected in one network, yeah, um, you have to be on one network, your HTPC or computer or your smartphone should be connected in one network or one router. And all you have to do is download the application, uh, configure some settings, and there you go. You'll be able to, to um, control your, smart, your XBMC wirelessly via your smartphone. Okay. Now first, let me show you how to configure XBMC uh, application. You just have to go to system and from system go to services you have to configure two things here web server and remote control for the web server this one should be selected which is allow control of XBMC via HTTP for port I placed a setting 8080 for username and password just to make it simple I put XBMC together with the password XBMC as well for the web interface, I chose default. Now for the remote control, these two options should be selected, which is allow programs on the system to control XBMC and allow programs on other system to control XBMC. Okay, let's move to system and system info. I mentioned a while ago that your HTPC or computer and smartphone should be in one network. So you have to remember under network, you have to remember the IP address of the remote um, of your HTPC or computer. In my case, it's 192.168.1.103. Now, I'll configure that IP address on my on my smartphone so I could set up well the the um, XBMC remote control. Okay, so we'll move on next on how to set up and download the XBMC remote control Android application on my smartphone. Okay, let's set up now the XBMC remote control Android application. In your smartphone, go to Google Play Store. Yeah, this is the Play Store. And the keyword search is XBMC remote. Official XBMC remote. Okay, so in my case, I've already installed it. So take note, it's from Team XBMC. And the name is official XBMC remote. So download it. It's just a very small file. And once installed, you have to go to you have to click um, you have to go to settings and manage XBMC host. All right. So in my case, I've already configured it, but I'll walk you through on how to configure it on your smartphone. Let's um, have it. Uh, let's make it more closer. All 
All right. So these are the settings um, of the remote control Android application. You have to put a an instance name. You can put any name. In my case, I've configured it to XBMC. Now for the host IP address, this is this one is very important. Uh, a while ago, we've discussed about the IP address of your HTPC or computer. In my case, it's 192.168.1.103. So I place it there. For the HTTP port, remember I placed 8080. So con I configured it to 8080. For the username and password, I placed XBMC on both. This one, um, I just um, configured it. Uh, by default, which is 9777. And um, basically, for the MAC address and other um, socket, WOL port, I, I accepted it um, as default. There, MAC address, socket read timeout. I just configure it by default, and all you have to do is press OK. OK. Now, once you've configured um, those things, remember what's important is the IP address, the port, HTTP port, username and password. And um, like I've mentioned, you have to be on one network. You have to be connected in one network or one router. If you've configured it, um, um, if you could figure it uh, correctly, this is where you would know that it's already connected. So it says XB, my XBMC version, which is 12.2 stable, and you'll be able to see this option. You have the option for listen to music, watch your movies, browse your pictures, now playing. So let's say, let's see uh, watch movies. Selected watch movies. So these are the movies that that's on my XBMC or HTPC system. Okay, let's try to browse. There. So we have 50 first dates, 101 Dalmatians, Beautiful Mind, A Few Best Men. Okay, let's try to. If I click this one, it would play on my XBMC. There's an option there for. Play movie, and this is the best thing about this XBMC remote. See the the information. You can see the info like directed by, the genre, and the studio, and even the summary. About the summary of the movie, and even the rating, the, and also the cast. See, it's very nice. Okay, and uh, if you click on play movie there it would play on my XBMC it's already playing on my XBMC okay so I think uh, that's about it for um, for the setting up of the XBMC remote control Android application don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and please um, put your down your uh, comments if I missed something. Put down your comments down below and uh, see you again on my next uh, videos that I'll be uploading soon. Don't forget to, uh, for your computer parts and needs, visit www.tpidpc.com and look for seller second site. Thank you.